Hello, this is Talamir and welcome to another repair video. In this video, we are looking at an iPhone 14. It was dropped in water and the customer is reporting an issue with um, the uh, SIM tray not recognizing a SIM card. There is a possibility I will not be able to fix this problem, but I am hopeful. I'm hoping that maybe it's just a little bit of corrosion on the pins or something like that. Maybe this will be an easy problem to solve. All right. That back is nice and warm. So to begin with, I'm gonna use my suction cup like usual. I'm gonna pull up on this. Now, because I've replaced this before, it may come up easier than normal. Usually it doesn't come up that easy. You really gotta work at it. But in this occasion, I believe the majority of it, it's gonna come up just with a little bit of alcohol and maybe a, I, I, I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna use a pick. I do not trust it. This is glass. This is just begging to break. So I'm gonna use uh, a plastic card to get into this. You don't need to have the card in all that far. You're just looking to cut through the adhesive that's underneath. And it's cold again. So let's get that heat gun on it again. Just uh, hot to the touch. There we go, that came through easy. Now I already took out the pentalobe screws at the bottom. So that's not something I am presently worrying about. But uh, before you go and you take this back cover off, you really got to make sure that those penelope screws are out or else you're not going to get anywhere. I'm pretty sure at this point it's just clips holding it in place. See? Just clips. Now be careful because I'm pretty sure that there is a ribbon cable for the, what is it called? The coil, the, the, the wireless charging coil. Yeah, you see that right there? You just got to be careful with that. What has happened to his battery? It's feeling a little pouchish. Oh, there's some definite water damage in here. Uh, you guys probably can't see it completely here, but uh, I'm gonna pop this off first and then I'm gonna show you. It looks like the water came in through the charge port. Look at all that water damage. Man, where is the SIM card tray? It's right here. And it's separate, it is separate. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to take these screws out and um, I'm gonna take out the SIM tray and I'm going to take a look at the actual SIM card reader itself, just to take a gander at it. The back of the SIM card looks okay. Maybe first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try putting in my own SIM card and just see what it says. Now, I can't show it on screen because it's got a picture of the customer with uh, with with one of his children. Okay, so I put my, my my SIM card in and it is showing a signal. I'm gonna pop that back out and just put the customer's SIM back in again. It's possible that his SIM card's been damaged. I don't see any issues with it. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, this stuff right here. It's got a little bit of adhesive grip in it, grip, grout, grid, grit in it. I'm just gonna give this a bit of a clean. It's taken something off, but that might just be the metal. Now I gotta get rid of the stuff off of there, so just use the back of this to clean up the remnants of that polishing agent. Now let's see if that that does anything. I put the card in, nothing. It's not doing a thing at all. Now let's try this again with my own personal SIM card. Immediately it came up on the spot, doing what it's supposed to be. What? I just put the customer's card back in. Look, it, it just came up. What's going on? Why is it working now when it wasn't working before? Now I had a theory that I mentioned to the customer was that because of the water that got in, there was a possibility that may have been a little bit of liquid that came in to that SIM tray. Just putting it in and out as I did may have been enough to clean some of the corrosion off those pins. And as, as I said, this is a theory. I'm going to go ahead with my idea of what I wanted to do. I wanted to take that SIM, the, 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 the SIM card reader and just go underneath the microscope and take a look at it and see what's going on with it. Now, how do I get this out? The SIM tray is already out. Let's disconnect the battery again. There we go. That is weird. Can I get it out though? I can't get it out. 
Straight up, just can't get it out. That's fine, I think. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these back in and I'm gonna take that sticker off of here and we're gonna take a look underneath and just see what's going on. Let's apply a little heat to that. Just a little. I just wanna see if there's anything that I can access underneath. Kind of. I can see the pins underneath though. Now I'm looking inside the phone as well, inside of that SIM tray slot. And the pins inside there do look clean. Is it possible that my cleaning that card there with that little bit of adhesive, not adhesive, abrasive cleaner polisher was what fixed it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and quickly in and out, just do this. Push it out, push it back in, push it out, push it back in. Just rapid fire. If there's any corrosion on it, this should clean up some of it at least. It's still pulling up the LTE slash 5G. You're, you're, you're seeing a cell phone signal. That's great to see. I think I may have found something that'll work for this. I've got a, an iPhone 12 adhesive. So I'm going to take this out and uh, put that one in. So let's, uh, let's do that. This, this isn't going to be fun though. This, uh, this particular adhesive looks like it's in pretty nasty shape. That took a lot of work to get out, but this should work quite well. I think I'm going to clean up this a bit as well, as best I can. It's still got a little bit of adhesive. Like, look at that. It feels like sand. That is, that is nasty. So we got that all cleaned up. It took a little bit longer than I expected, not just because the adhesive was difficult to get off, because it was, but also because there was this really weird powdery grit that was in it. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe that came in from when it was dropped. I think it was probably dropped in the lake. There's there's this fine powdery residue that, that I keep finding. And uh, it felt a little bit gritty even for the SIM card tray when I had put it in there. So you know what? Let's take this out. We're just gonna use my, my puffball thing. Just make sure it's really cleared out. Now I, I did kind of do something like this earlier. I'm not seeing anything, but I mean, never know. It's worth a shot. It doesn't sound crunchy anymore. It, like it wasn't really crunchy. It wasn't in your face, but it did feel a little bit rough. Let's get this. Let's get this back in place. Here is the wireless charging module. Just plug that back in. So this one uh, has the hook on this side, so you gotta hook it this way, like that, and then get it on down, like that. I'm gonna do a final inspection, make sure I haven't forgotten anything. I, I, I did clean it up as best I can. It still looks a little bit sandy. There we go. That's good, that's in. Let's put those penelope screws back in. Done. And one final test. And as you can see, it's still showing LTE. Only one bar, but I am in a basement, so it is what it is. That's great to see. That's all there is to this video, guys. If you like the video, please do leave a like. And if you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe. We'll see you guys all in another video. Bye.